Hey guys, Austin, and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase here on the channel. And today, guys, before we get this video started, I have a little bit of an announcement to make. Now, uh, we're going to be starting a new series, actually starting later on today on the channel. Now, this series has nothing to do with Minecraft whatsoever, so if you don't care about Minecraft, this definitely is going to be the week for you. And the reason why I say that is because this new series is going to have five videos or episodes, I guess you could call it, um, throughout the span of this week. So instead of us having two Minecraft themed videos every day with the exception of the one Call of Duty video We're gonna have five Minecraft videos one every day and then the second video of the day will be the um, new series Now I don't want to give too many hints of what this new series is um, so don't try dis Dissecting this video figuring out what it is. You'll know the minute thumbnail and the title goes up for the video You won't even have to click on the video. You'll know exactly what it is if you aren't interested in it that's completely fine, but I did want to get the series started, like, now because the game was on sale. That's right, the only reason I, I'm doing the series is because I was waiting for the game to go on sale on Steam. And, uh, the, the game was on sale for, like, $12, and it normally was $60, so I was like, yeah, I'm definitely buying this. And that's actually what I was playing, like, all week. Weekend, week, I was playing it for a while. That's all you guys need to know. And that's all the hints you're getting. But enough about that. Let's get into today's mod showcase. If you guys... Oh, and what determined which video I'm doing every day? Because as you know, I do two Minecraft videos every day. The reason why, to give you guys an example, I'm doing a mod showcase as opposed to my Pixelmon series is I basically took all the likes and the views that those videos got. I know I don't normally do stuff like this. Talk about views and likes and blah, blah, blah. But it gave me a, a little bit of an idea of what you guys wanted to see this week. So I basically just took ratios... Of like a like to view ratio and went off of that so every series slash video that goes out this week minecraft related is because you guys last week clicked that like button so just know that i do read the likes and i do take that into consideration i don't just say it for fun so that being said guys if you do enjoy this video smash that like button this is going to get to a whopping 15 likes i greatly appreciate it and it would show that you want to see more mod showcases next week that being said, we are going to be doing a throwback mod showcase. I haven't even said that yet. I know, right? And that throwback mod showcase happens to be the... I don't exactly know the... This is like the official name of the mod, but it's like the armor stand mod, the damage indicator armor stand mod, whatever you like to call it. I reviewed it in the past. I don't know what I called it back then, but the, the title of the mod is the mm, 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 mm mod. It's an armor stand, guys. I don't know why it's... I, I don't know. But if we open this chest right here, as you can see, we have all these test dummies. So if you look at the crafting recipe, you're going to want to know how to craft these for normal survival. You will need any type of wood plank, a hay bale, and two wheat. Now, we are starting... We're doing the showcase next to a village. One, because most of the stuff that I just mentioned can be found in a village. Two, this village generation was a little bit weird. If you'll notice the pathway here goes under like the stone and reappears here it's as if when the villagers made this place they i don't it's kind of interesting when i saw this i thought at first it was modded but then i was like no this isn't mod this is a vanilla village obviously and like it, it looks like the mountain like this was once a volcano and like it erupted and the lava spewed down onto the village platform and it blocked off and i'm just telling a whole story for no reason but I just thought I would point that out. If you guys want the seed for this world, there it is. If you want to check out this amazing village. I spawned like right there over there in, in the spruce forest, if you guys are wondering. But anyway, oh, also, can you guys rate my showcase arena? I know it's a little bit bland, but I felt like it, it fit the mod. So not calling the mod bland, not not saying that, but I, I felt it went with the mod. So rate it one out of 10, please. Um, but essentially what you do with this test dummy is you craft one, you place the man down, Place down a lot of him, and he is essentially a indicator for how much damage you can do in Minecraft. Essentially, uh, pretend you don't have damage indicators installed. Uh, you basically just take this test dummy or dummy, call him whatever you want, and you just whack him like this. And as you can see, every time I smack him, he jiggles a little bit, and it says I'm doing 0 0.5 damage. So that is exactly how much damage I am doing per hit. If I do a crit, it does um, 0.75 damage. As you can see so pretty cool um i apparently smacked that one don't know how that happened but yeah so doing 0.5 and 0.75 with my punch 
So that's not even one damage. And it does say DPS per second, so it will tell you how much damage you are doing per second. Actually, we go back and create a mode of white and oh shit. How do you oh so if you want to know how to break the thing, you shift and left click it to actually break it. Cause I I was about to say, how do I get him uh how do I get him even in creative mode? But there we go. So going back in survival mode, that is not a number. Going back into survival mode, let's grab a few stuff so I can just show you guys what exactly he is made of. And I did bring a modded lucky sword just so you guys can just so I can prove you guys you can use mods. Um, so if I were to hit him with a normal diamond sword, well, bam, 3.5. So this is the, uh, kind of like a per, imagine this is a person without armor on. And this is how much damage I'm doing with normal. If I do a crit, I do 5.25. And then if you basically just swing for a while, it'll tell you your DPS over time. So after that, it should update. My DPS was 4.41. So I'm doing about four damage a second. So damage per second. Um, if I use a shovel, let's go over to this man swing a bit i'm doing like two point if i let it charge all the way 2.75 if i start spam swinging it as you can see i'm only doing about 1.1 1.4 damage so for those of you that still spam swing your weapons in in the new versions of minecraft and say it does the same damage this is proving to you right now that the difference is like yeah so same with the diamond sword like if i start spamming notice how i'm only doing 0.9 or 1 damage as opposed to the 3.7 it's a very good example right there but mind you, this does waste durability. If you are testing your weapons on these guys, it will waste your durability. So don't do it on a weapon with one damage or one durability. As for the pickaxe, 2.5. And then if I'm just spamming, it does like 0.6. Uh, the axe, as you know, the strongest weapon in Minecraft. Well, bam, 4.5 as opposed to the swords, 3.5. But if I were just to spam it, it does like one damage. Uh, the bow, if I were to snipe him, three damage. Um, if I'm just smacking him with it, it does nothing. <laughs> I'm still a firm believer that the bow itself should have some attack damage, like two attack damage or something. So you could smack someone with the bow. Be kind of funny. Um, the hoe, five damage. But this is con almost continuous. See, even if you're spamming it, it mostly does five damage, but it can do like 0.4. As you can see, or not five damage, but 0.5 damage. Um, even though the attack speed is very quick, even though you can normally swing it almost instantly, it's not exact, like you still have to time it correctly. Now you guys are probably asking yourselves, do potions work? Yes, three damage to the potion. Um, Lucky Sword, like I said, it does, it will do its effects still. But as you can see, three damage, I just fired a TNT block. If I were to just spam it, um, it, it does all the effects at once. I didn't actually know that if you spam the sword, it still does effects. Huh. Interesting. But as you can see, all those weapons do do their normal thing. Now, you're probably also asking yourselves, does TNT work? The answer is... Yes. As you can see, it did 23 damage to this guy. So that's enough to kill a person. One piece of TNT is enough. Well, I know you probably got, already knew this, but one TNT is enough to kill a person. I also ask yourselves, does something like a creeper work? Like if I were to get a creeper spawning and just place that down, will that will that work? The answer is yes. As you can see, 16.5 damage. So creeper explosions are not as strong as TNT explosions, but um, yeah, judging from that right there, that gives us a clear indication that the armor stands do still work. It does tell you, I believe, their previous damage input um, for a while. I don't know if it resets at all unless you smack them once. So by the looks of it, see how it says 16.5 and this guy says 5. So that is about all there is to say for this mod showcase. Um, again, I, I know it was a brief video. I knew this mod showcase was going to be a brief video. So I didn't mind talking too much at the beginning. But um, yeah, this is definitely a mod that I'm going to probably install into my uh, New World series. That's probably a given. Um, it, it's a small mod. It's one I'd recommend installing in all your mod packs and or worlds that are modded. Um, just so you have a fun like little... I, I don't know what you'd call it. Like a fun little... Um, thing just to just to mess around with it doesn't cost much to make and it gives you an excuse to use like wheat as a resource since no one ever really does that or hay bales as well um and again it does show damage output on any weapon you get and for anyone wondering yes when it was in 1.7.10 it did work with the or spawn mod and it did damage output for the big birth sword for anyone questioning that it did work 
Um, but that is about going to be it for this mod show because I hope you all did enjoy. The downforce mod should be linked in the description as it always is. And I just want to say thank you all for watching. And again, stay tuned for later on today because we are doing the start of our new series on the channel. And before anyone gets too excited, it's not the Resident Evil 2 remake. I know that's a lot of things YouTubers have been doing recently. I thought about it and then was like, since everyone else is doing it, nah fam. <laughs> I'm going to do something that not too many people are doing. So what I like doing on the channel. I know Minecraft something that people have done for years. But I like doing things on Minecraft not many people do. For example, mod showcases. Not many people review mods in Minecraft anymore. Like, none of the bigger Minecraft YouTubers do it anymore, for sure. And, like, only, like, small YouTubers like me do it. So, we still gotta promote the game. We still gotta promote the fun that you can have with these amazing armor stands. Am I right, guys? But, uh, that's gonna end it here. And I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, goodbye.